It's your boy Toto Barber. We back again. What's up, my people? What's the dealio? We are back with another episode of Total Barber's Free Game. It's been a minute. What's been good, y'all? Hey, man, I've been in. Hey, life's been life, and man, life has been good. Life has been interesting. How everybody been? Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. If you want to be on the YouTube podcast, hit me up, inbox Total Barber. I'm feeling good, y'all. I am feeling good. I'm feeling good. Believe in yourself. Any dream you got, you can do it. It's your time. It's your time. Move at your pace. Move at your own pace. You feel me? So what's been up, man? What's been good? Make sure y'all go to my channel and check out all my videos. Go check out all my videos. If you want to cash at me, cash app. Um, I'm going to have my cash app link on below. You know what I'm saying? All that's coming. We got the website coming, new business ideas, man. Man, it's been it's been a journey, man. I'm loving my journey. I'm loving how far I done came. I'm loving everybody who been rocking with your boy. So it's time for us to love, 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 man. It's time for us to love like you have never loved before. But what I really want to emphasize on is loving a woman. How to love a woman the correct way. How to really be there for her. How to really make her fall in love with you. You know what I'm saying? How to really care for that woman. A woman is so delicate. A woman is like a flower. You know what I'm saying? A woman is like a flower. You know what I'm saying? So sweet, so soft. Smells so good, you know? And as men, we, we got to learn how to cater to our woman. How to make our woman really fall in love with us. You know, how to really make that woman fall in love with you. Kissing her, taking your time with her, loving her, making sure your breath is on point, making sure your body hygiene is on point, making sure you're always smelling good, making sure you're keeping her always what's wondering what's next. You know what I'm saying? Teaching her, opening, her, opening your woman up to new ideals. You know what I'm saying? When was the last time? When was the last time you even brought your woman flowers? When was the last time you surprised her with a love note? When was the last time you took some time to really appreciate the things she do for you? Appreciate her letting you use your car, her car. Appreciate her um, opening up to you about certain things. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, appreciate her taking the time out to really get to know you and love you for you. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Um, all women want to know is if you are the person you said you are. When you met her, you showed her a side view that she liked. And and somehow, some way, you made her trust you, which is good. Now she's trusting you, and um, she's waiting to see if you are who you say you are. You know what I'm saying? Are you going to the gym? Are you reading? Are you putting her up on new adventures? Are you adventurous? Do you listen when she talks? A woman wants a man that is going to listen. You know what I'm saying? You got to sit there and listen, man. Don't over talk her. She's trying to talk and you trying to get the damn words out and she can't even explain herself. Then she winds up bottling it up and it turns her into a bitch in the long run. Then she, she feels like she can't trust you. She can't talk to you and you don't listen. When was the last time you just really sat down and listened to your woman? When was the last time you really, really made love to your woman? Do you even know how to make love to your woman? Making love to your woman is putting every feeling and emotion into every kiss, stroke, touch. Really taking your time, caressing her body, G. Don't run in and just kiss her and throw it in, you feel me? Take your time a little bit, kiss her a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And make sure your breath is on point, fellas. I can't stress that enough. Make sure your breath is on point. When you when you kissing your woman, 
and you talking to your woman because that that bad breath that bad breath alone <laughs> will have her up out of there. <laughs> That bad breath alone will have your lady up out of there. You gotta be more smooth. You gotta be more laid back. You gotta you gotta educate yourself on how to love a woman properly. There's many mystic arts. There's many new things you haven't tried yet. You know what I'm saying? Start dressing better, smelling better. Have your hair cut on point. Every time she sees you, you should be crispy. Ain't no sense of a grown man running around with no haircut. And then you wondering why she, you know what I'm saying? She giving you the cold shoulder. She ain't texting messaging you like she used to. She ain't texting you like she used to. She's not calling you like she used to. She's not listening like she used to. You're losing her interest. You're boring. It's the same shit every night. It's the same shit. The same two positions. <laughs> you feel me? Learn how to spank your woman, man. A lot of women like to be spanked. Learn how to spank your woman in a, in a way where she likes it. You feel me? With that nice bow. You feel me? Talk a little dirty to her. Don't be just sitting in there just, you know what I'm saying? Niggas be so boring in the bed. It be just driving them crazy. They like, man, he ain't going to do nothing else. He ain't going to spark up the, like, spark up the mood. You just come in and throw it right on in. Spit on it and throw it right on in. No, man. Come in and talk to her. Hey, baby, how was your day today? You know what I'm saying? Like, What's going on? Come here, let me holler at you. Let me kiss on you a little bit. You feel me? Let me rub on you. Give her a nice back rub. Women love to get their feet rubbed. Think about it. She's been at work all day. You've been on the game. You know when she get off work, she's going to want that house clean. Have the house clean before she gets off. <laughs> Have the house clean, the dishes put away and cleaned. And the kids put to bed when she get off. That way, when she come home, she ain't got to be sitting there jumping over hurdles. She ain't got to, you know what I'm saying? Women pay attention to that. Then you sit back watching her bust her ass. This woman just worked a 16-hour shift, G. And you watching her bust her ass when she come home. And you're not doing nothing. Come on, man. Step it up. You ain't too cool to be in love, bro. That's what's wrong with, that's what's wrong with us fellas. That's what's wrong with us. We think we too cool to be in love. We think we too cool to, to tell this woman, hey baby, I love you, I appreciate you. I like to, I, I like to get on my knees for my woman. Ask my ex, I used to be on my my knees. For real, she busted out crying one time. I was on my knees and just thanking God, like, most high, I just wanna really, really thank you for bringing this woman into my life. I'll be grateful for every second, you know what I'm saying, with my woman. Grateful for every second with my woman. You are the most beautiful thing to me ever. You know what I'm saying? To me, you know, my woman don't have to be beautiful to everybody else. Your woman got to be beautiful to you. You can't worry about everybody else. You can't worry about what everybody else think. Brothers will trick you out your girlfriend. Niggas will think, oh man, she a hoe or not. And another thing, fellas, stop worrying about if she a hoe or not, bro. It don't matter. Grocery is high as hell. Gas is high. She needs help around the house. She needs help with the baby. She needs help with the kids. Help her with her kids, bro. I understand them ain't your kids. I understand that. But come in and help him, bro. Get to learn who the kids is. Just don't come in and what's, what's up, little nigga? You know what I'm saying? Like treating the little kids like shit, man. Kids hate that shit. That breaks a kid down, bro. You not coming in and you not helping with the kids, it breaks a kid down because they see the laziness. The kids see who you are. The kids can see right through the clowners. You feel me? They know. They like, man, hold up, dude ain't he ain't respecting my mom by helping out. This nigga been on the game for two days straight. Nigga been on the game for two days straight. Bro, you done been on that game for two days straight. And she done busted her ass, man. Double shifts, two 16 shifts, two 16 hour shifts in a row. And she come home and you just sitting there watching <laughs> her clean. You know what I'm saying? Take some initiative, bro. Start wondering, start asking her what she likes and really take notes. Take notes, bro. I had the tablet out last week. You know what I'm saying? My, I, I've been single for two, almost three years now. This is my third summer alone. You feel me? Um, uh, I had to I had to learn a lot, bro. I came on here talking this. I, I don't want to settle down and all this extra shit, man. And you know what I'm saying? I was, you know, I was going through a phase. I was going through a phase. I didn't really know who I was. You feel me? Uh, shout out to the Saturday night, man. 
Take you some salonite and rub it on you. It, it dissolves negative energy. And man, it takes a lot off you. I can feel it now. But um, I came in, you know, um, not knowing who I was, man. I want a woman. I want a wife. I am on a mission. It's a, fellas, it's a full-time job to keep a woman, and it's a full-time job to date. You know what I'm saying? And I want to let y'all know, man, if you are under the age of 40, I am 41, I'll be 42 in August. If you are age, uh, under the age of 40, man, don't make it to, man, please, settle down now, and, and man, because when you dating after 40, it is a fucking, it, it's a shit show, it's a clown show. In the day of age we're living in, man, you really got to hold your significant uh, other close. If you got a good woman, Lord, hold on to her, bro. Hold on to her. Hold on to your woman, bro. Don't be letting, don't, stop letting cats get in your ear. Stop bringing all these men around your women, bro. Stop trying to be cool and talking about, oh, yeah, he the plug. He trying to talk up your mans. Don't stop. That shit played out, bro. That shit played out. Cause, cause you know what I'm saying, bringing all them cats into your um, home, cats gonna try to get at your girl, bro. Cats gonna try to get at your girl. Bring us some flowers, bro. It's it's three dollars for a rose. It's five dollars at the most for a rose. Get her a rose. I'm gonna give y'all some free game real quick. Get her a rose, right? And go get a piece of paper, which is a, a, a probably about a dollar. Get you a dollar tablet, bro. Rip one of them pieces of paper out. You know what I'm saying? Rip one of them pieces of paper out and um, write her a nice letter, a love letter, bro. I did. We taking it back. You gotta see. Y'all gotta get your inner child going again. Writing love letters, bro. Doing little shit. Box of chocolates, flowers, candy, picnic. Surprising her with a picnic. You feel me? Go to the park, bro, and um, have everything set up. You know what I'm saying? Go to the park. Um, get her a blanket, you know what I'm saying? Get her a nice little pink blanket or whatever. Make some sandwiches, you know what I'm saying? Get some chips, some juice. I, You know, me, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm back on meat right now. I went vegan for a minute. But I would have had the steak already grilled. You feel me? I would have already had the steak grilled up, you know what I'm saying? And I would have got her the, um, I would have, uh, hold on. All right. Go get her, uh, go get the blanket. You know what I'm saying? Go to the little, uh, go to a little park. You know what I'm saying? Some, if you can get something by the water, that's even better. Later, later, um, blank it out. Make some sandwiches. I would have grilled up the steak. Had a steak and chicken there. You know what I'm saying? With our favorite potato or whatever, with a salad. You know what I'm saying? Something slight and easy. Get you some sandwiches, bro. Get you a bag of chips, G. Get you some fruit. Get some lemonade or something. And, and put some flowers down, some rose petals around, bro. And invite her out for lunch. Here, baby, I made this for you. You feel me? Creative thinking. Women love that. If you don't know how to love a woman, we have to start educating ourselves on how to love a woman properly. <clears throat> and listen to her ideals, bro. Listen, don't don't say her ideals is horrible. Even if you think it's funny. Sit and listen. Open your fucking ears and shut up. Stop trying to over-talk her. You know what I'm saying? Stop trying to over-talk her. And, and the drugs, brothers, stop that shit. Y'all sniffing coke around a woman. Y'all a good woman, bro. Okay, this thing, uh, even for me, if a woman if a woman come around, bro, especially if I just met her and she's snorting coke, I'm out of there. Ain't no woman fit to put, ain't no real woman fit to put up with that, bro. You a damn crackhead. Ain't nobody putting up with all that shit no more, bro. And stop trying to lie. And then doing coke and then coming around her high. She can tell, bro. She can tell. You're off. You probably don't think you're off. You, oh, I don't feel good. No, bro. She can see that you on that shit. Clean yourself up, bro, before you get in a relationship. Or if you are already in a relationship, man, leave that shit alone, bro. It, it just ain't for the It ain't no good look to it. Ain't no good look about it. You feel me? Ain't no good look about it, bro. Start putting your foot down. You soft as fuck. I want women hate a pushover. Women don't like no nigga that's, that's going to tell them, yeah, every time. Be like, no, baby, you ain't getting that. Go, see, You know what I'm saying? No, baby, we ain't doing all that today. We on something else. Have a plan already for her. You feel me? Sometimes your woman wants you to think for her, bro. 
She can't be the one thinking these women be tired. And women be tired, bro. She works all day and the kids are all in her ear. Be the, hey, baby, look, I seen you were struggling with this. I went and handled that and now we good. Um, you know what I'm saying? I already paid all the bills and shit. You know what I'm saying? And I believe in the 50-50 shit too. I definitely believe in the 50-50. But it might be a time where you fall off and she got to take over or she falls off and you, and you got to take over. You feel me? You got to be, it's compromising in relationships, G. It ain't for to just go one way every single time. It might be 50-50 with six months. Then somebody fall off, somebody got to take the slack. You know what I'm saying? Brothers would be like, man, I done twin, twin, I fell off, G. I ain't doing nothing, bro. She going to have to pull the weight. No, bro. Ain't no reason why you should be falling off. Ain't no reason why you should be falling off. You feel me? Ain't no reason why you should be falling off. This vein is just, boy, I'm up popping. There ain't no reason why you should be falling off, G. You feel me? You have to make a plan happen. You got to be able to see shit before it happens. Use your intuition. If the job been acting funny, bro, most likely, nine out of ten times, they're going to fuck you up. Go start your LLC. Go start your business, bro, and stay on your business plan. Every time you get a business plan, you fall off with it, and she sees that. She sees it, bro. You was just talking about how you wanted to open your own food truck, and now you talking about some old other shit, and you forgot about that idea. You think she ain't like, damn, this dude can't stay stable. He can't hold on a job. He got one. He got a business ideal, and then it went out the window. Come on, man. Come on, brothers. We got to do better, bro, and, and, and start having date night. You know what I'm saying? I used to have 80s night when one of my... um. In one of my previous relationships, we had 80s night. We'll sit down and play the 80s. Man, that shit used to be so motherfucking fun. That shit used to be so fun. Y'all can have taco night, monopoly night, game night. You feel me? Fight night. Girls like to wrestle, bro. Girls love to wrestle, bro. Wrestling with your female, bro. Playing around, putting her in different moves, showing her different. Damn, I see that. I definitely see that bad boy. You feel me? Um, putting her up on different um, wrestling moves, like you know what I'm saying, like really bonding, bro. What you know what I'm saying, playing Twister, little games like that, having game night, having karate night. You know what I'm saying. Even if you don't know how to, uh, even if you don't know how to fight, start teaching your woman a little some stuff that you do know, bro. Show her how to throw them hands. Show her you a man. A woman like masculinity. A woman loves masculinity. You feel me? You can't be coming around acting soft and thinking she like that. She don't like it. <laughs> she don't like the softness, G. She don't. It's fucked up, but she don't like the softness. You feel me? We gotta. We gotta come. Come harder as men. You feel me? So yeah, it's time to you know educate y'all selves, man. Start start spunking up the relationship. It's dead. And don't think because it's dead you can't revive it. You can still go and, and, and get the knowledge to love your woman, bro. Start asking questions. Get you a mentor on relationships. We can get a mentor for getting rich and all this other shit, but what, what about the women, bro? They need us. They need us. We got to start waking up and lead these women. Ain't no way in hell you and your woman should be hanging around each other and y'all ain't reading together. Start reading out loud. Read your girl the story. Like, baby, let me read you this book. Have her read you the book. I feel like the most important thing in a relationship, this is the number one that should become on both of y'all lists because this is the key to life. Massaging. Massaging. You feel me? The key. Massaging. Let me, let me explain to y'all what massaging means. Massaging is um, rubbing. Massaging promotes blood flow. Blood flow promotes healing. You feel me? So when y'all rubbing on each other in those sore spots, y'all should be doing body massages at least three, four times a week. Rub her feet for a couple hours, bro. You ain't doing nothing. Go in there while you sitting there. Blow, right? blow you, uh, blow her. Roll you something up. Get her feet in your lap and just rub the motherfuckers and put a movie on. And don't stop until the movie is over with. I'm talking about them feet should be feeling like putty when you're done with it. Shout out to the Palma, uh, Palmonado Wood. We, we cleansing our area. Make sure y'all cleansing y'all area, man. You can use sage as much as you want to, especially these days, boy. It's too much negative energy. It's too much negative energy, bro. And this helps your breathing, too. This kills 99% of the germs in there. I never breathed so goddamn good in my life, boy. I've never breathed so good. So, yeah.
Yeah, man. Um, it's just time, bro. Take your woman and cleanse her, too. Start saging your woman, bro. Y'all should be saging y'all women, y'all kids, most definitely, brothers. Yeah, twin. Own in there and sage her up, bro. Make sure she good. Make sure her aura is clean. Make sure her aura is clean, bro. You know? Loving her. Just really loving her. If you ain't never loved somebody before, man, it is the most beautiful thing. It is the most beautiful thing. It's the most beautiful thing in the world. Ain't nothing wrong with telling your woman you love her four or five times a day. You feel me, baby? I just want you to know I appreciate you and I love you. That's all. You feel me? I just really want you to know that I appreciate you and I love you. You know, that's all. That's all I call for. I ain't want nothing. You feel me? Like, really, really tapping in, bro, and get your body together, bro. She ain't no way in hell she gonna keep getting turned on by no fat-ass belly, bro. You feel me, twin? It ain't for to happen, twin. Get on in there and do what you gotta do, God. <laughs> get on in there and do what you gotta do, God. Get your, get your voice together, man. Change that voice up. Talk a little freaky to her in the bedroom. Say something slick to her. At first, you gotta ask that permission, though. Just be like, hey, baby, can I, can I talk a little dirty to you? Let her imagination run, bro. Let her know that you don't, you know what I'm saying? Let her know you ain't uptight about everything. You feel me? Let her know you are not uptight about everything. And to get that move set, burn a little sage in the room to cleanse that aura. You feel me? Cleanse that aura. Keep that aura clean. You feel me? But loving your woman. Loving your woman is what we focusing on. Holding her. Cherishing her. Making sure she comes first. Putting her decisions first. Listening. Don't talk when she talking. Listen. Open your ears and listen. Just sit back and relax. Breathe, man. Breathe. Relax, brothers. Relax, twin. It's time to figure your woman out and figure out what she likes and, and how to be there for her. You know what I'm saying? Holding her when she cry. Hold your woman close when she cry. Don't judge her, bro. She might, it might be some shit that, that sparked up from her last relationship. You know, people bring a lot of trauma with them. Women carry a lot of trauma, bro. You got to understand the times we in. Women are being targeted, bro. Like, women be getting beat up by cats. And I mean, I got daughters, you feel me? You understand what I'm saying? And uh, women are going through a lot, you know what I'm saying? Just like us men. But women, they, they endure more. You feel me? That women endure more, bro. They got to go through their period. They going through a bleeding cycle. Stop trying to hit her on her period, bro. Let her breathe for a couple days, man. Practice abstinence, bro. Practice abstinence. You ain't got to fuck her every single night. Hold her. You feel me? I mean, you uh, you know, you uh, get it in. You feel me? Get it in. You, you know what I'm saying? Get it in, brothers. But I'm just saying, some nights, bro, you ain't going to be able to hit every single night. Hold that woman. Talk to her. You feel me? Talk to her. Get the move set. Just don't go straight in for the kill. <laughs> you know, this your woman, G. You feel me? This ain't just some bitch off the streets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This your woman, G. You feel me? And try your best to stay fly, man. You should be getting your hair cut two times a week. Especially if you got a girl. Don't even let her see a hair out of out of place on your head. You feel me? Don't let her see a, a, a don't let her see a, a hair out of place on your head. Stay fresh. Stay fresh and get you some type of six pack. Get you some type of six pack and change that fucking diet, man. If she don't like to cook, bro, they got meal prepping. All you gotta do is order the meal prep for the week and it come right to your house. Have a healthy meal waiting on her when she get off work. Meal prepping, that's the new lick. Meal prep for the whole fucking family, G. It might cost a little bit, but you supposed to be on your grind anyways if you got a woman. Ain't no way in hell you think you finna be broke with no woman. You feel me? And but if she want to eat out, be like, no, nah, baby. No, nah, we ain't eating out tonight. We ain't eating out tonight. You feel me? So, um, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? We back in, man. I love y'all, man. I hope everybody been good. And before we go any further, I really want to say a prayer for everybody. You feel me? Let's, uh, let's bow our heads real quick, man. Most high mother father, I just want to say thank you for everything you've done. Just um, hitting us with these blessings, prosperity and abundance, and really just putting your hands on us 
and uh, making sure that we're uh, protected and loved at all times. Um, we thank you for every second of life, man. It's so precious and so valuable and just help everybody um, figure out their purpose, man. Help everybody out of poverty, help everybody out of struggling. We love you in the most high mother and father's name. Amen. Yeah, so you don't want to be uh, 40 and, and having to get out here and date. It's a whole new world. You know what I'm saying? You can't really trust nobody like that. Everybody got hidden agendas, you know, and, you know, who wants to be a side nigga? Who wants to be a side woman? I don't want to be a side dude. I'm never going to be a side dude because I value myself. I value my time and I value my body. I work very hard on my body. I work, you know what I'm saying? I work. I work around the clock. My health is everything to me at the age of 41. You feel me? At the man, at the age of 41, my health comes first. And you gotta be conscious, brothers. Y'all gotta be conscious. When you going out cheating on your woman, bro, you got the opportunity to bring something home to her. You got the opportunity to bring evil spirits in the house that can, add, that can potentially latch on to y'all kids because 99% of the times they do. You feel me? And that's just time wasted where you could have been teaching something, bro. You could have been looking at um, planting a garden, doing some garden work. You know, uh, there's so many things we can do, brothers. There's so many things we can do. I, that's why I, um, in my uh, one of my master classes, my life coaching class, I talk about um, how men should definitely get some type of hobby. You have to have a hobby, brothers. You just can't be out here doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Let's refer back to the older gentlemen my age that own houses. Most of them have garages in the, or man cave. And that's where they do their hobbies at. Whether It's more than just playing a video game, G. I haven't played a video game in years. Years. I don't care about a video game. I'm the, I'm the creative player. <laughs> and I'm playing real life. You feel me? I'm the creative player and I'm playing real life. <clears throat> Um, it was a tough time in the barbershop today because one of my clients came in and uh, he was he was just guzzling liquor, just guzzling. She left me, man. She ain't coming back and all this. Couldn't stay still. I'm like, bro, wait, wait. Just sit down and get a haircut, bro, and just holler at me. What's going on? Well, man, she gone. I feel like she fucking with somebody else. Well, what happened? Well, man, I fucked up. He kept saying he fucked up, he fucked up. And I'm like, well, bro, if you fucked up like that, don't expect her to come back. <laughs> I don't know why you expecting her to come back, bro, when you done did all this fuck shit. You feel me? Hold on. Ain't no way in hell you expecting this woman to come back after you done. Oh. Ain't no way in hell that you think she about to come back after you done got caught cheating. You shouldn't even want her back. You feel me? You even got caught cheating, lying. A little lie, bro, is a lie. I had to learn that the hard way in my life, bro. You feel me? A little lie is still a lie. It ain't no little lie or big lie. A lie is a lie. The first time you tell her you're something and she sees you're not, the chances of you losing her increases by 80%. So you got to keep in mind, man, do what you would want someone to do to your mother treat your woman how you treat your mother treat your mother i mean your uh <laughs> my bad treat your mother i mean your, uh, treat your woman how you would treat your mother you feel me i love my mom i respect my mom i cherish my mom i look up to my mom ain't nothing wrong with looking up to your woman i ain't saying idolize her but look if you got a if you got a woman bro that's doing her thing business owner she brings a lot to the table, bro. She loves you for you. She's always uplifting you. Love her, bro. And that's that's cool. Look up to her. She's inspiring. We got to stop with this copycat shit. You know what I'm saying, man? Oh, they copied me and all this. No. They inspired you. Or they were inspired by you. We got to start saying inspiring instead of copying. I don't say that shit no more. That puts us in more generational curses. All black people are going to do is take another 10 steps back. You feel me? So we can't be thinking like that. Ain't no copying. We inspiring, man. Get that out your vocabulary. You feel me? It's time to move forward. It's time to take your woman under your arms and protect her, bro. 
Show her how to box her. If you know how, even if you know how to throw a punch, show her show her how to throw a punch the correct way. You feel me? Show her how to connect uh how to throw a punch the correct way. And and show her that you here to protect. Stop all the feminine shit, bro. Arguing with her. When she get an attitude, you got an attitude. You feel me? You picking fights. You going through her phone. That's all female shit, bro. Leave that shit for the females. Be a man, bro. You supposed to be a man. Listen, you supposed to be in a bed by 9 o'clock anyways, bro. What are you up midnight arguing, looking through her phone? You supposed to be in the bed at 9, up for the gym at 4. You feel me? That way, when she get up at 6, you're already home and ready. She got to be to work at 7, have her bath water ran, have her food made. If you don't feel like cooking, she don't feel like cooking, meal prep. You feel me? Meal prep for the week, bro. I meal prep for the week. I meal, I just got done meal prepping today for the whole week. Steak and chicken with potatoes. Oh, my God. I melt the mozzarella over the chicken and steak. Uh, but, yeah, man, shout out to our loved ones, man. We just want to We just want to give thanks to everybody, to our ancestors and everybody, our angels that's protecting us. We want to give thanks. It's, you know, it's a blessing, man. It's a blessing. And if your girl's seeing spirits or she's real spiritual, embrace that shit, bro. Don't, don't look. If she tell you she want to do the tarot cards, stop being a pussy and be like, oh, it's demonic and all that. Be like, all right, baby, we'll, we'll see what's going on, bro. Tarot cards mean positivity, goofballs. It's been, it means positivity, bro. Messages are being sent through the angels and through God through these cards. Y'all don't even understand. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't even understand what this shit is really about. Don't make fun of her, bro. If she's, if she's going through her spiritual awakening, G. If she's hearing voices, if she's, you know what I'm saying? Anything spiritual she's going through, bro, and she's trying to get you to realize what's going on, and she's trying to get you to connect to nature, stop laughing at that woman, G. That woman ain't crazy. She going through some shit, bro. It's real spiritual warfare out here, bro. Your woman might be super spiritual, bro. Super spiritual. And y'all niggas be laughing and taking her for, for granted. You feel me? No, embrace that shit, bro. Being spiritual is a very, very narrow path, bro. It's very lonely. People don't understand it. If you're not educated, you won't understand. Spirituality is not for a dummy. It's, it's, for, it's for the advanced, man. I was an all-A student coming up. You feel me? So when your woman is, is being, you see her going through a spiritual awakening, bro, Stop laughing at her. You see her getting her spiritual downloads. Go get the woman some water, G. You feel me? And for y'all niggas that got y'all women out there doing the grass, y'all niggas bogus as fuck, bro. I'll be looking out there, bro. That woman got the the kids over there. On the, she trying to watch the kids while she mow the grass. The niggas in there playing the game, bro. Come on, brother, stop it. You can't you can't want a you can't want a, a strong female when you a weak male. You feel me? It ain't fit to happen, brother. Stop it. Stop letting her get out and pump the gas, bro. Get your ass out and pump that fucking gas, nigga. You ain't too cool. You was not too cool to go pump that gas. You got her in there, man. She pumped that gas in there like this. Like, you hey, baby. She mad, nigga. You, you soft. You don't know how to take control. You don't know how to lead the house, bro. A man makes a house. A woman makes the house a home, brothers. You feel me? A man makes a house and a woman makes a house a home. Get the house and get that woman and watch her make it a home. Watch her come in hanging up shit, making it, putting the pink shit in there, the flowers. You feel me? Like, come on, brothers. Y'all got to stop. Love that woman. Cherish that woman, bro. And stop talking about your fucking ex to your woman, G. Them pictures should be erased, bro. All them past shits, them shit should be a race, bro. All the men. If you really locked in with your woman, G, my 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 last relationship, she had my password. She had my e. She had all my passwords, bro. To my phone, I didn't have a passcode on there. I gave it to her. Here, baby, here go the passcode. One six seven eight. You feel me? Like you feel me? And I had her password, bro. We had we. It was beautiful, bro. It was beautiful. We didn't argue. It was some. It was some whole other shit, bro. You feel me? So you got a good woman, hold on to that shit and understand her, bro. Because understand, most, uh, man, shit don't last long, man, if you out here fucking up. You feel me? Shit gets old, bro. Y'all been together for three years. Y'all doing the same two positions. You ain't got in the gym to fold her. You feel me? She want to be folded, bro. She she want to get slutted out. She want to get slutted out, bro. So every 
You feel me? Every night can't be two pumps and you done. Slaughter out a little bit, bro. Have some stamina in there. Have some stamina, man. Get y'all mind right, man. You feel me? It's your boy, Total Barber, man. I love y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Back for another episode. Y'all know how we do it, man. It's been... It's been another one, y'all. You feel me? How to love your woman the correct way. How to fall in love. How to how to really open yourself up. You know what I'm saying? And, and brothers, y'all cannot love a woman until you love yourself, bro. Make your body your temple. Everybody shouldn't be in. You feel me? I can't even, I can't have sex with everybody. I can't. And when you really spiritual for real, bro, when you spiritual for real, you, you can't fuck everything. You feel me? I'm so pure for a relationship now, bro. When I get my new woman, bro, well, you know what I'm saying? My car saying I got the, I got, I got, uh, 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 man, listen. When I find a woman that's on my level, bro, I can talk that spiritual talk to her. She know what's going on. She know about the world. She know about everything, bro. It's going to be, oh, God. I can't even wait. I, but I got to prepare myself. You have to prepare yourself for the woman you want if you don't have her already. G, you got to put yourself in position. Stop fucking the hood, rat. Stop fucking for a minute. Give yourself a break, bro. Give your dick some rest. <laughs> you feel me? Let's spend another episode, man. It's your boy, Total Barber. I love y'all, man. Peace to the guys and goddesses. Peace to the earth. To my kids, I love y'all. Don't let nobody hate on y'all. Don't let nobody put y'all down. You know what I'm saying? Kiaria, I love you, baby. Moo, I love you, baby. Ashaya, I love you. Hey, man, it's another one, man. We back again. Yeah.